What is going on guys? Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. We're continuing exactly where we left off in the last one. So, um, there's literally been a few minutes in between this mission and the last one. What we're going to do is we're going to open up and see what's wrong with this car. Um, okay, so he says he's got his ABS module, his ABS pump and brake. Uh, caliper, brake, caliper, brake. Pod, brake pod. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to do all of these. I uh, don't think he's got anything further for us to do. So what we'll do is we'll pop the bonnet and we'll have a look inside. Okay, so it looks like one of the things we need to grab is uh, right here. Um, okay, it looks like we have to disassemble this. Looks uh, like this thing is very rusted. Along with this. Kidoki. Right, what else does he need? He wanted that. Okay, so he's got a brake caliper back there, and a brake caliper there, brake pads there. So, uh, what was exactly wrong with this thing again? So it was brake caliper, brake caliper, brake pad, brake pad. Okay. So think uh, why aren't we in disassembly mode why won't it let me go in disassembly mode oh because we we need to bob it up once wasn't up on the left it would help wouldn't it It's actually lifted up off the floor there a little bit. Okay, so it looks like it's this brake caliper right here. What needs doing? Those brake pads that seem to be fine though. Can't remember if this side needed anything. I think this side needed brake pads, I think. I think the caliper was fine, but it needed brake pads. There we go. Alright, what we'll do is we'll come over here into the inventory. Oh, what's this? We've got a crate. Do you want to open the crate? Yeah, sure. Oh, choose two parts. Uh, we'll go two on the right. Alrighty. <laughs> I guess they're good. Right, okay, so we need brake pads, we need a brake caliper, and we need both of those. Alright, so let's come out of our thing. We're going to here. We will view the shopping list. Okay, so we need a brake pad. Just need one of those. Um. Okay, so we've got brake pads. Okay, so we need a brake caliper. We also need an ABS pump. Which isn't found in here. So where will ABS pump be? Um, electronics, maybe? There we go. Now buy one of those. And um, we need an ABS. There we go. Okie dokie. So we should be able to go back into um, mount mode. We should be able to put brand new brake pads on here. We will put the old brake caliper on. Because that one seemed to be fine. Um, put that on. Okay, and we can put the tire back on. There we go. Okay, for this side it just needs the brake caliper. Nope, that was disassembly mode. <laughs> okay, put the brake pads back on. 
brand slapping you, Bray Caliper. We'll put your tire back on. Okay, we will come into the engine. We will zoom out. We will come around here. We'll go to assembly mode and we'll put this back in. Brand slapping new. And put that back in. Oh wow, look how shiny and new they look. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, so I think that is it for ABS module, that one. Okay, so we need br rear brake caliper and rear brake pad. Um, I think. Right, okay, so first things first, let's... Um, Let's just sell these parts, I think. Okay, so... What we'll do is we'll take this tire off. Get the WD-40 out for both of them. Okay, so is it the brick pad which is bad over here? I'm not sure which one was uh, bad there. About to find out. Okay, so this one's brick caliper by the looks of it. Oh, brick pad and brick caliper on this side. Okay, so the other side should be fine then. Right, what we'll do is we'll um we'll reassemble this then. Um yeah. So it seemed to be the brick caliper and brake pad on the other side, which was uh a bit done. Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look at our inventory. Mark two of those up. We'll go to our magical tricks of computer. Um. Brick pad, buy one of those, and we'll buy a brick caliper. One of those. We will reassemble the car. Put the tire back on. Alrighty, that should be us done on this order. All done. Well, let's finish that order. That one was um, fairly straightforward. Um, that was not very long on that job at all. Okay, so what we got here? We got um, we got a storyline mission. Uh, these storyline missions uh, seem to be really good anyway. All right, let's um, uh, so let's read what he says. Um, my neighbor, he's a dealer. I've heard you repair. Okay. Let's just get it in the shop and we'll figure out what the hell's wrong with it, I guess. Alrighty. Um, let's bring her into the shop. Let's put her on lift one. What we'll do is, before I start taking tyres and everything off, we will uh, lift her up. At least one. Okay, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the job order. See what he's got. Okay, we've got the tasks as well. Um, such as um, change brake fluid and drain olds, change coolant fluid, change power steering fluid, and refill washer fluid. Okay. So. Okay, so he wants the belt tensioner um, done, he wants the brace discs done. Uh, we'll mark that up, brick. Okay, so that's taking off all the tyres. Uh, cam gear. 
uh, camshaft, right, um, idler roller A, ignition coil, damn. How much stuff do you want? You want the oil filter, um, you want rubber bushings done which should usually around the wheels, uh, you know what, we'll mark them up anyway just in case. Um, serpentine belt, and then spark plugs. Okay, so, it looks like we're going to be, wow, that went up quite quick. Right, okay, so I think he wants us to change all the fluids as well, so I think that, well, first things first, let's drain the oil. So I think we're going to need to drain the oil anyway. Just because oil's easy to drain. And we're probably going to put new in anyway. Just because um, oil's one of those things, but it's, it's easier to change. Okay, so what we got here? So we need to start taking off uh, just about all of this stuff here. Okay, so it looks like we're starting down here. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to take this off first. To then take this off. This one's going to be a big job. Oh. I uh, see why. Okay, so that needs to come off. This needs to come off. You need to come off. You need to come off. Okay, so looks like we need to get into this uh into this a bit more. So we'll take out all the ignition coils. There's going to be a pin in the back end to uh, reassemble everything. Oh, that's the oil drain plug. I didn't want that. I wanted to take the the ignition coil off. Now I wanted to take this off. Okay, we're into the interior of the engine here now. So this needs to come off. These need to come off first. There's the ignition coils in there as well will need to come out. Right, what else needs to come off first? Um. What needs to come off first? I'm not hundred percent sure. Am I missing something here? Why won't you come out? According to this, this here should be able to come out, but it's not. Right, okay, so anyway, these need to come out. Uh, that one and that one. I'm not missing something here, am I? No belt there. That there should just be able to come out. Why won't the camshaft come out? I'm not missing something stupid on this end of the engine, am I? This needs to come off first, I think. There we go.
Okay, there we go. Right, so that's the majority of our engine taken to bits. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start marking up what we need to get. Um, I think they were from our last build, I think. Potentially. Yeah, because we've got no wheels off on this. Alrighty, yo. Let's head into here. Let's uh, start um, buying stuff up, shall we? ABS pump. Oh, damn. I don't think I actually cleared my shopping list from the last time we went shopping. Damn. Okay, so it means we're going to have to do all of this again. Okay, that's not too bad. Right, so uh, we don't need that, but we need one of those, two of those, one of those... One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. And that's it. Right, sounds good. Right. So we need a camshaft B. Right, let's buy one of those. Um spark plugs. Not in this one. Right. Ignition coil, not in this one either. Uh this one. Okay, yep, yeah, we've got that in here. Okay, we've got one of those in here too. Okay, we've got 17 belt in here too. Belt tensioner is in here as well. Okay, what else do we need? We need two spark plugs and an ignition coil. Okay, so let's go home. Um won't be in electronics, will it? They are. Okay, so we need two of those. Uh, we need an ignition coil. Alright, we'll clear our shopping list. Right. So, now what we can try and do is reassemble everything. <laughs> Alright. Time for the hard bit. Remember where everything went. Right, uh, we can put that back in. We can put that back in. Okay, we can put this back on. I don't think we need to be into this bit of the engine anymore anyway, so... Righty up. Right, let's spin over to this side of the engine. this back in we will put the belt back on a new belt that is we'll put the belt tensioner back on uh, I think that is it for this side of the engine I think I've got everything back in the right way I, I just hope I do Okay, put that back on. Uh, put this back in. Put this back on. Um, there's the two rubber bushes there anyway. Right. Okay, so let's go back into assembly mode. Right, we need to put these back on. practically reassembling the engine right now. Just move my phone there quickly. Alright, we'll uh, pop this back on. These need to go back on top, don't they? Alrighty. Right, 
I think only one of those needed to be changed, but... Right, I think that is the majority of the engine back together. Um, let's have a look at our inventory. Yep, all dead parts, which I think, yep, we've put all of those back into the engine, so these should be good to all sell. So we are making a little bit of money from selling these, not a lot, but little bits. Right, let's have a look at our checklist. So, um, yep, yeah, we're all good there. Everything in the engine looks like it's good. Oil filter will do next. And uh, we'll do some rubber bushes as well. Right, let's pop this up. We'll do the oil filter now. Which is right here. Which I don't think is actually too bad, is it? Eh. It's not too bad, really. But, you know, replace. Uh, oil filter, bye. There we go, there's a new oil filter. What the customer wants, the customer will get. There we go. Right, so, um, there was a couple of rubber bushes down here, wasn't there? These rubber bushes right here, so... Zoom out there a bit. Okay, that needs to drop down, and we need to... I think we need to angle ourselves there a little bit better. Um, right, whereabouts is it? Uh, is it C for crouch? Yeah. Oh, you got to hold C to crouch. Um, somewhere around here. Is that rubber bush? There we go. Yep, it should be the same over on this side. Uh, rubber bushes here. I need to take this off first. There we go. Sometimes you just have to angle the camera in the right way. Okay, so that's the two rubber bushes. Um, also, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to unmark these because these are going to start getting in my way. Uh, suspension, uh, spark plugs, they can go. Alrighty. So, um, we need that rubber bush, that rubber bush. I think that's it rubber bushes. Um, I'll fill it that can go. Rubber bushes, we need two. And what we will do as well, we'll remove that from our shopping list. And we'll enter assembly mode. Brand new spanking new rubber bush back in. And with this one. And we'll do the same over this side. Assembly modes. And there we go. That is those done. Right? So, rubber bush, rubber bush, rubber bush, rubber bush. Oh no, there's two more rubber bushes there somewhere. Right, I'm not exactly sure on where they are on the car. Probably near the back, I would expect. Um, yeah, 
there. Can we get in there? Yeah. Actually, they look incredibly easy to get to. On both sides of the car. Wow, super easy. <laughs> um, right, what we'll do is inventory quick and oh, okay, we got quite a few rubber bushes there. I think we only need two. Two rubber bushes. A lot of rubber on cars. <laughs> and we need to jump over to that side one more of a bush alrighty there we go so that there should be that okay so now we need to do brake pads on just about everything in a brick disc actually two brick discs yep alrighty let's have a look Okay, so it looks like this side and that side. All right, we'll do the rear first. This isn't actually what we'll do. Instead of it sitting halfway up in the air, we'll lower it down. It makes life that just a little bit easier. Great caliper looks brand spanking new. Fortunately, the brick discs don't look the same. Brick color from this light look, looks fine as well. Brick pants, though. That to be less desired, I guess. We need two of those, right? Yeah. Okay, open shopping. Okay, we don't need that. We need those. We need two of those. Thank you. At least the rear's going back together uh, nice and quickly. Not gonna lie. I've always found the fast way of uh, putting on those tyres as well. <laughs> Alright, so assembly mode. Right. So I'm guessing one of the front tyres has got. Uh, um, A brick, um, a brick disc. What needs replacing? Okay, let's take off the front tires. Let's take it this one. Do this side as well. Is it two brick um, discs with need replacing on this, or just the one? Let's have a look at the order. Um, oh, both of them. Okay. Makes more sense now. Okay, so we need two of those. Uh, two of those. I do believe. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. Right, okay, so we need two of these. 
and need two of these. There you go. Let's reassemble everything. That's another, I think this is a story mission, right? And then I think we need to do um, fuel, st uh, what's it called, stuff. I change oil and actually we need to add oil. Alright, there we go, there's that done. So we can remove all of those off of our list. That's all of those done, right. Other tasks, right, what we need to do is we need to change brake fluid, change coolant, change power steering and refill washer. Okay, so, um, brake fluid. Um, Power steering. Do we need to do power steering? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, power steering. Okay, what we'll do is we will click on that. We'll hit that mode. We'll hit that. We'll remove this. We'll re-add this in. I'll go put new this in. Okay, is power steering's done. Uh, coolant. That needs to be done. Okay, pour some coolant back in. We're just missing engine oil, I think. Um, brake fluid. Now, where will brake fluid be? Um, I'm not sure where that one will be, but we need to put oil in it anyway. I do know that much. We haven't put oil back in it. Um. Drain and refill, uh, change brake fluid. Um, now where would brake fluid be? Um. There. Found it. Took me a second to find it. I couldn't remember where it was. Okay, let's fill this up. There we go. That is this car done and dusted. We have done everything and uh, we get a bonus. Uh, repair with parts of uh, medium condition, 81%. Um, so we've hit everything we need to hit. Finish that order. There we go. 
Alrighty, so um, I guess let's get our next order in. Let's see what's on the phone. Uh, we've got a Nissan and we've got this car. Um, this is a DLC one. Which one's going to fetch us more money though? Um, They're both DLC. You know what? We'll go with this one. So we'll take this order. And we'll put it on the lift on the inside. I think we'll call it there, I think. Um, I don't think I can actually take another order. Or can I? I think I can. So that pops this one outside as well, I think. So there we go. We've got two cars. Good to go. We've got one inside, one outside. Okay, so that'll keep us going for quite a while longer. I think I'm going to end this one here, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys have liked this video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the series so far and everything. Tell me if I need to talk more, talk less, do more, learn more. You tell me what I need to do. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, if you've liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't, dislike button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will hopefully catch you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan? <laughs>